Well, I would like to uh, welcome everyone this morning. Um, the way the agenda was shaping up, I thought we were going to be here about three hours today, but um, we have several cancellations, so it'll be somewhat more manageable. I want to begin this morning with uh, Londell Smith, who's here with uh, information about a youth employment workshop that uh, he has organized. Londell? Good morning. Good morning, Mayor Berger. Good morning and happy Wednesday, everybody. I am here to announce a youth employment workshop uh, that will take place on Saturday, March 29th, and Saturday, April the 5th. Now, this is a two-part workshop, and those that are participating must attend both sessions. Now, participants are eligible to uh, attend if they are between the ages of 15 and 21. Okay, they have to be between the ages of 15 and 21. The time will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and the, the workshops will take place at the Bradfield Community Center. All right, now, um, participation in this workshop will not guarantee you a job. I have to make sure that we say that. However, if you successfully complete it, you will be guaranteed an interview. Now, there'll be a variety of topics that will be covered, uh, such as motivation in terms of why one chooses to pursue employment, uh, the responsibility and benefits of employment. Um, we'll touch on the attitude uh, regarding individual ownership and personal accountability, okay? Uh, personal excellence regarding attendance, appearance, hygiene, performance, time management, stress management, goal setting, decision making, problem solving, financial literacy, and also uh, networking. We will also introduce the participants to the importance of customer service and then um, we will help them with the job search process. So resume creation, uh, if they need help filling out an application, we will also give them leads and um, based upon some of the, the, the organizations that we know um, that are hiring currently. Um, we will also expose them to different resources that are available to help encourage employee success. Now as a bonus, on the second day of the workshop, we will be in inviting parents um, to attend uh, the, the latter portion of that day with the participant as we will have potential employers that will be participating in a panel discussion. They will be talking about the things that they look for in terms of a new employee, um, things that uh, will help these individuals um, have a successful employee career. So I think it's very beneficial. Um, to register, um, this workshop is only available to the first 50 individuals that register. Uh, registration is going on now at the Bradfield Center, so if you are number 51, we love you, but you'll have to wait till the next one, all right? There is a cost involved, okay? We believe that um, those that are participating must make an investment into this um, uh, um, very important workshop. The investment is $25. However, upon the successful completion of 90 days of employment, you will receive $15 of that back, okay? So uh, again, a youth employment workshop scheduled for Saturday, March 29th and Saturday, April the 5th at the Bradfield Community Center. If you have any questions, you can give me a call. I'm at 419-236-8947. Again, 419-236-8947. Or you can stop over to Bradfield and uh, complete the registration process and then we'll get going from there, okay? Thank you for your time. Um, this morning we have representatives of the Lima City Schools and uh, the United Way here to, um, and I'm not sure who's taking the lead to, uh, to speak, um, uh, about a readathon that's being launched. Tommy? Good to have you here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My name's Tom Thompson. I'm the uh, Community Services Liaison with the United Way. And uh, Phil Hain was going to do this today, and when I got to work, they said, go over to the mayor's news conference and tell them about Readathon. So I'm here to tell you about the Readathon. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, uh, what, what, I, what I want to tell you about, uh, the, the Readathon program at this point is looking for sponsors, uh, and it's the sponsorship are designed to underwrite the cost of kindergarten camp. Kindergarten camp is a United Way LACA public school endeavor that, that takes uh, 
little kids pre-kindergarten and gets them ready for kindergarten. It's a highly acclaimed program. It's uh, very successful. This, I believe, is the sixth year of it. And so we needed funds. We need a sponsor or several sponsors to make kindergarten camp happen. Nothing just happens. Somebody makes it happen. And in this case, uh, $20,000 worth of sponsors coming uh, 10 at a time, one at a time, however you can do it. Uh, come and be a sponsor if you have that corporate wherewithal. And there is a community engagement program with it. This is where the Readathon part comes in. Readathon is a program that runs from May 19th to the 30th, and it will be at Freedom Elementary, and that will take those sponsors can send their employees in to be a part of an engagement with the school system and with the, uh, with the kids within that school system to do uh, continuous reading. Uh, reading has several components to it. You can entertain children with it. You can inform children with it. Uh, it's supposed to be a good experience for both the children and the people who are in there under the sponsorships. Uh, so, what else do you need to know about it? I guess uh, each day, each day they have a schedule. Uh, a different company would be the sponsors uh, providing the readers. 100% of the proceeds will be used to underwrite kindergarten camp. And this is this is Chandra, Chandra. Newberman. Chandra. Hi, I'm the principal at Freedom Elementary, and we are very honored to partnership with the United Way to do this readathon. Um, it is a great opportunity for our students because we love having the community members come into our school and read with our little kiddos. It gives great role models for our kids to look up to. And as he said, that the proceeds do go to the kindergarten camp, which again in return benefits our Lima City School kids because the kindergarten camp really helps get our students ready for kindergarten. So it's a great opportunity for us as well. So we're very excited about this program. How many children participate in the kindergarten? Uh, oh, in the kindergarten camp, Mike, what's that number? Last year we had 68, I believe, school yeah. children. And it's, it's one of those things, Dave, that, that really should, should grow. I mean, over the period of time, uh, we really ought to be looking at public funding to make that component because it's so successful, yeah. it deserves to be a permanent part. Mm -hmm. We've got some work to do. Good luck with the promotion. I have brochures that will that will cover uh, some of that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, reading is always um, reading is my hobby. It's really the only thing I do outside of work is read. So um, I'm always enthused. Uh, about encouraging kids to read and uh, and adults I'm constantly talking about the books I'm in fact I was just having a conversation a few minutes ago about a book I'm into right now so I mean the, the whole idea of encouraging folks to read at the youngest of ages I think is a is a great thing so I wish you well in the in the effort um, also this morning uh, another um, community collaboration that's um, underway um, is the um, Energy Savers Program, which uh, uh, the city has been uh, pleased to uh, participate in. And we wanted this morning to showcase a particular opportunity that uh, has been underway with AEP and one of their commercial customers, uh, Chief Supermarkets. So we have representatives of both organizations here, and I'd like you to come up and, and talk to us about the, the overall program and um, the invitation that's there. This is really a showcase of Chief uh, and what they've accomplished and, and are doing, but it's also, I think, an invitation to others uh, to similarly uh, take advantage of the incentives that are being provided. Come on up here. Let me introduce folks. So I want to ask um, um, Gary Inama from AEP to 
to uh, kind of take the lead, introduce his colleagues, and then we'll have uh, spokespersons from uh, uh, Chief as well. Gary? Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. It's uh, certainly my privilege to be here and represent AEP Ohio and AEP Ohio's Energy Efficiency Program uh, in recognizing Chief Supermarkets for their participation in our program and give a little bit of background to what our program is. Uh, back in 2009, uh, Public Utilities uh, Commission uh, and the state enacted Senate Bill 221, which required utilities in Ohio to come up with an energy efficiency program to reduce load at the meter. Uh, we've done that through a, an incentive program where we, we assist our commercial and industrial customers by paying incentives for those customers to install energy efficient equipment. Uh, it's been very successful. This is now the sixth year of the program, and since the inception, AEP Ohio has saved or reduced uh, kilowatt hours by over 2 billion kilowatt hours annually. And that's a number maybe that's not relative, but to put that in perspective, that's enough energy to power over 130,000 homes for a year. Uh, it, it reduces a tremendous amount of CO2 emissions from our power plants. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very win situation for our customers who save on energy consumption uh, every year. So uh, with that, again, Chiefs has uh, participated in the program along with uh, uh, several other customers. And we really want to recognize them for their efforts. And they're going to save year after year. Uh, our program is available to all CNI customers in Ohio that serve by EP Retail. Uh, and it really is a win-win-win situation for everybody. Like I say, Ohio AEP Ohio wins by uh, seeing reduction in energy consumption, which, by the way, some may ask, you know, when I started the company years ago, we did everything we could to get people to use more power, and now we're actually paying customers to use less. It's really a, 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 an issue of economics. Uh, in today's world, uh, the capital investment for new generation is very, very expensive. Regulations are very tight. Uh, it's, it's much more effective and cost effective for our customers and rate payers to have, an energy, to have the utility have an energy efficiency program. We pay customers to use less and to use, use more efficient equipment. So instead of spending X amount of dollars to build new generation, we probably spend a tenth of that on energy efficiency. So we're trying to delay the, the capital investment of, of new generation. And it's also a win for our customers, obviously, because the measures they install uh, they see a year after year savings on those measures. So the life of the measure pays for itself and continues to save money. And it's also a win for the state of Ohio because Senate Bill 221, the Energy Efficiency Program, is a jobs bill. Uh, contractors like All Temp Refrigeration, who did this, this uh, project for Chiefs, uh, and other contractors have seen a real uptick in their work. The manufacturers of, manufacturers of, lighting, pro of uh, lighting products, more efficient products, have seen an uptick. So it's a win for the state of Ohio also. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Terry Holman, who is our customer services representative, to make the actual uh, check presentation to Chiefs. And again, on behalf of AP Ohio, I'd like to thank Chiefs uh, for their participation. Terry? Thanks, Terry. Uh, to put this project in perspective, just what Chief did, um, they, the, the, with the energy efficient LED uh, uh, lights that they put in, they alone have uh, saved 411,000 kilowatt hours. And that uh, is equivalent to uh, taking uh, the CO2 emissions for 60 cars uh, and it, or the energy use uh, for one year for 28 or 28.5 homes a year. Um, and these benefits will continue as long as uh, the measures uh, stay intact or they may continue to work with them. Uh, we appreciate the efforts and the willingness of uh, Chief to, to uh, work with AEP. And I'd like to introduce Mark Diller. Uh, he's the facility manager, RJ and Nikki from the stores, and Annette Hoffel. Uh, she's the marketing director. And if uh, you guys could come, we'll get you a, get a picture. Uh, to begin with, thank you, Mayor Berger, on, on behalf of Chief Supermarkets. A couple years ago, we decided to invest in the community. Uh, it's a great community. Uh, we have a lot of people who shop our stores, and we're very thankful to the city of Lima, the county of Allen, and also the AEP 
everybody helped team up with us. We were able to, as I said, save over 400,000 kilowatts per hour. The great part of that is not only is it this year, but it's next year, the year after. It's all going for us forever, and it makes a big difference for us. Uh, the reimbursement or the uh, incentive check is just an add-on to what they've already helped us with. Again, we're very happy with what AEP has done. They're a great company to work with. They're very supportive of us and have always had somebody there whenever we've needed them to help us out. So, uh, again, thank you very much for the city of Lima. On behalf of AEP, we'd like to present to the Chief Supermarket uh, a check in the amount of twenty. $9,767.48. Very nice. Is it green because of St. Patty's Day? Or is that <laughs> yeah. our money? Our money. All right. <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thank you. And, um, the opportunities for others, that's really what this is about. Right? Yeah, the opportunities is, is really for any non-residential customer served by AEP Ohio. Uh, we have a website, AEPOhio.com, uh, that lists the different measures that apply. But basically anything a customer can do and implement with a capital investment that saves energy uh, may qualify for an incentive. Okay. Very good. Thank you all. Thank you. We are... Um, um, as I've, we've mentioned before, Lima is a pilot community under the Energy Savers Program, um, and uh, it's a serious opportunity for uh, whether it's individual homeowners uh, or residents, uh, residents um, the opportunity for uh, churches, for not-for-profits, for, for uh, businesses, um, commercial and industrial um, it's time for, and, and there, this is time bound, so we want folks, at least for the, the promotion associated with the city, uh, to take it seriously now, to go to the Energy Savers uh, uh, 2014.com and, um, and engage. There's uh, reasonable ways, some of which are entirely free uh, for individuals to participate, and, um, and certainly with the uh, the size of the rebates available to commercial businesses, this, uh, this is a very um, uh, generous uh, approach to uh, trying to get everyone's attention to take this as a serious opportunity. So we appreciate you all being here. Thank you very much. I believe, since we had several people not uh, arrive this morning, uh, that's all that we have, but we'll break down for individual interviews. Thank you.